I did hit the right button. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Um, I'm just waiting some for some personals to upload, and then I am going to send them out and come live, okay? So, this is going to be Monday's energy, the 18th. 18th. That was actually reversed and I put it upright, but I decided to do it this way. So we have energy on the board of well, what do I do? What am I what am I doing? How do I it's like a struggle between how do I do what it is I want to do and, and, and deal with the predicament I'm in at the same time? Um, how do I reach potential? How do I, how do I do this? How do I, how do I do that? How do I come in and tell somebody this is what I want? How do I get out of an investment? It, it could be linked to a work investment, but it, it's more... It could be dealing with someone with sevens too, 77, regardless. Okay. Um, someone doesn't want to invest time into a family situation anymore or work. Something's going to come out. I don't know if you're dealing with somebody who's very um, organized, precise. There's something going on there. This looks positive, but it, it also looks like a challenge. Okay. They're thinking about a Queen of Wands energy. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Queen of Wands is going to hear something. Someone's walking back to the Queen of Wands. It looks like something needs to be laid to rest, though. So... King of Pence reversed. This is someone that you're not even talking to. So we got one energy of King of Pence and another one of Queen of Wands. Um, looks like the King of Pence is going through all this. They could be in a commitment because the King of Pence is somebody who's committed reversed. There, there's they're not looking at a commitment right now. They're looking on how do I get back to this one. 
but how do I clear this up first? How do I explain all this? I have to explain all this in order to, to, to even be able to process this. The three of Wands, Three of Wands. The Three of Wands could be speaking about um, a third party too, and if that is the case, there's you know there's a new direction here with the Two of Wands and the Five of Pence, but somebody gets left out. Um, you could be dealing with somebody in foreign land. This is my foreign land card, and so isn't this one. This one's holding the globe. It could be a cultural thing. But something with foreign lands. But there's a new direction that this person wants to go in. And in order for something to go in their direction, you know, it's they're in an uncomfortable predicament, to say the least. Because somebody feels left out. This is could be somebody who's thinking about their feelings, somebody who's upset and lonely. They're at right now they're just how do I get there? How do I how do I figure this out? How do I go in this direction? Because it, it, it does stop here. Because this person does want to go in this direction back to this one particular person. It looks like every like everyone's left out of a situation here, if you ask me. Tell me about the Queen of Wands. Yeah, you could be dealing with a Cancerian, but this is somebody who's no longer, this Queen of Wands is no longer talking to this King of Pence energy that possibly was a third party. Something is completely over. I don't know if she's looking at it like I got stabbed in the back or it's just one of those situations where it's like, done. Tell me about this King of Pence. Page of Swords flew out, but hold on. Tell me about the King of Pens. I don't. I, I like literally picked it up and put it back in. It was strange, but it was the Page of Swords, and it was reversed. King of Pens, please. They could be dealing with the Taurus, but yeah, they have a counterpart, which is a wife. All right, that that looks like a divorce. Um. Especially with the Hierophant reversed. Okay. This is an ending. This is a counterpart. This is a marriage. Okay. There's a Queen of Wands over here. Could be a Cancerian. Regardless, it doesn't matter. It's someone who's not talking. Someone who's not evolving themselves in a third party. Over. Done. This particular person right here. How do I do this? How do I how do I do it? They they want a new future with the Queen of Wands. This is gonna end up being a divorce or something that's over. It's it's very karmic. They wouldn't this wouldn't be the first time a certain situation within the household has gone down like this. Whether it's cheating, deception. Like right now there's there's like no cheating. But there was. Cause the Queen of Wands is not trying to have anything either right now, it but neither is this person. So this king of Pence energy is is coming out of stress, coming out of the dark night of the soul. Now has to end a situation. Ooh, all right, loose. It's like truth be told type situation. I 
I don't know if the third party will come out or not. I think it's it's more about this couple right here. This court couple, this marriage. <laughs> Tell me about the world. Because this is something needs to be spoken and ended. Karmic situation. Somebody wants a new direction, a new path. But it has invested a lot of time in in a family situation. Right now there's a lot of there's a lot of arrogance. There could be arrogance on, on both parties. This is coming to an end. Tell me about the seven of swords. We don't really need to know any of that. Tell me about the two of wands real quick. Someone's from afar. There's something, or there's someone or something foreign. Yeah, it's, it's the Five of Swords. Everyone loses in this situation right now. It's guilt. It's it's the Narcissism card, too. It's like a couple that... It's, this couple is very narcissistic when they're together towards each other. A lot of arrogance going on here, too. Right now... It's not going good for anybody. It's, it's very karmic. This is someone's karma. They're looking at something not so positive, though. Because this looks like a new opportunity to go in a new direction. Extremely karmic. It's a lot of fear. There's, it's like slow moving energy, slow moving fear, a slow moving process, a, a small, a slow moving move out, a slow moving. Let me explain. S slow moving. It's just a slow ending, but it will end. And then this King of Cups will be walking back to this queen. I don't know what the queen's going to do in, in that situation, but that's how that's going to go down. So this King of Pence can be anyone, any, any Zodiac. But that's definitely the situation. And, and she's the only one upright, so she's probably the only one grounded in a situation. When the right moves are made, okay, let's see what's going to go down. There's just there's a lot of fear attached, a lot of negativity. There's a lot of karma attached to this situation. Something karmic definitely has to end. Saturn's going to make sure mm -hmm. make sure of it. It looks like somebody's getting out of a situation before Saturn takes a, a massive hit. So... Once somebody leaves that situation, yeah... It's, it's the Two of Cups. Two hearts dedicated to creating something wonderful. Kindred spirits. Don't give up on the people you love. Um, change your life. A sudden revolution that offers freedom. A break free from procrastination. Which is what's going down. And new opportunities bring change. Okay. So. This one will be walking back to this one. Apparently there's a lot of love between these two. But that's not in union.
Okay. So that's, that's kind of the energy that's definitely going down. And at the bottom of the deck, you know, it, it, it's like, you know, exactly what to do in order to benefit from certain experiences in your life. It, it's time for your career rather than relationships. So I don't know how long this will take to go down or whatever the situation is, but that's definitely a message for someone. Do what it is you do. Focus on your career is what it's saying. Don't focus on when or, or, or what. But to me, you're already doing that. You're already the queen of Michael. You already shut it down. So to me, it looks like the the queen of wands is in the energy of the queen of cups and the queen of swords. Somebody has their emotions under wrap. Self-reliant. Intuitive. In touch with themselves. It's like she's the only one standing. It's... She must see something positive out of a situation. Because she's legit, legitimately the only one standing. It's almost like wrap up what needs to be wrapped up. Do what it is that needs to be done. It is, it's that type of... Tell me about the Queen of Wands. So, it's ironic because this card was stuck in this deck and it's, it's the lovers. But regardless, the three of wands, reasons to celebrate, you know, friends, announcements regarding relationships or children. So she's, like I said, she's, she's the only one standing. Um, there is something quick coming at her energy. It's going to be time to, to move quickly logic over emotions and that's why you're also coming in the queen of swords energy which makes which makes sense there is there is sudden change let's see what that sudden change is for you so we got a good insight on, on both energies what's this sudden change for the night queen of wands deck just got tricky. I don't know if it's going to honestly even want to tell you. The, I keep seeing the Seven of Wands reverse, so it's kind of like let your guard down. But tell me about this sudden change. To me, it's just it's a new direction. You know, you're going in this same direction whatever it is the hierophant it could be something spiritual or it could be relationship it's definitely going to be sudden it could have been something that was most definitely over it, whatever you're about to go through if you ask me that this is extremely positive look at all the the major arcana this is something this is more than a transformation. It's almost like something spiritual. The, the three of Raphael is the three of Pence. It's like a new contract. It's like you're a brand new person. And you're still coming in as the queen of, of swords. This, this is work. This is some type of affiliation. This is some type of... Um, some type of work and it's gonna take it, it you're gonna have to use your spirituality it's that type of work tell me about the hierophant yeah see queen of pence you're now every single queen it's 
to me that totally looks like work. Yeah, you're definitely moving. You're confident. You're moving. Happy, happy is, is, is coming your way. I, d I don't think you're dwelling on any of this. I, I think you're dealing with a strong Scorpio. She She's got a strong S Scorpio in her or, or something like that. But it's all this major arcana. This is a, a, a massive change. To me, it, it looks like work, security. For some of you, it could be, it could be love. It's, it just depends on what's next for you. But, yeah, I know, because the, the Knight of Swords comes in. It's the universe sends the Knight of Swords. Clear communication, messaging. You won't have to read in between the lines with anything. It would just be a yes or a no. You could be teaching with the Hierophant. <clears throat> So I hope that helped you guys. I love you. See you later. See you later, Gator. See you soon.